In this video, I'm going to show you the simple steps that you need to do in DaVinci Resolve to be able to render videos for IGTV. Come on next. So IGTV is a thing to where they're encouraging video creators to, instead of doing stuff like this, is to do stuff like this. Now, a bunch of us have already invested a lot of equipment and kind of like with the camera I'm using right now, it's way better quality than what I have here on my phone, even though this is good. So I'm not knocking doing stuff like this, but this is just for those who actually already have their gear set up and they want to implement on IG. TV. So all I do is I still render everything that I normally would in this type of layout. I mean, you always could just cock the camera to the side and stuff like that if you wanted to. Um, me, without having to do a lot of extra work, all I do is pretty much just render my video how I normally would and then make a new project. What I do is take, after I do all the video and stuff that I normally would do, I would take that same video and then just put it in a new timeline and then put it to the side. So let me go and show you just how I actually do that here in DaVinci Resolve. All right, so here at loading up DaVinci Resolve, and I'm gonna go ahead and open up a project that I actually have already worked on. I have my own little folder in here, and let me go ahead and open up here. All right, so inside of here, <clears throat> I just have my own little timeline like I already normally already have, and I'm running dual screen, so you can see. I mean, that's what I have on the screen. It's just my inputs. But if I go here to my project, see I'm running everything at rendering everything else out. Well, the, excuse me, let me take that back. This is the timeline and this is just the project settings. So it's at 1080p, 1920 by 1080. It's pretty simple. So I render this out, but again, while I'm rendering here, I'm making sure that the majority of what I'm doing is in the center here. And all I do is, let me go back in here. I render that whole thing out. This is what I will upload to YouTube and traditional video um, layouts. I come in here, I just made a new project. <clears throat> and in this one, I imported the fully rendered video that I had here and I just imported that but then in my project I just switched the numbers I just changed the custom resolution to I mean to custom and then I just flipped the numbers 1080 by 1920 to have it more this way and then during the, the delivery screen during the delivery screen I just make sure when I render I actually change this because that's too high I just changed this to custom again and then I'm doing H.264 but you can change it to whatever I just do this just because I know the size of the file and then in resolution custom again I do switch the numbers 1080 by 1920 and that's literally it guys I mean because it's pretty straightforward in what I'm actually doing so um, I hope that helps it's really not taxing at all. You just gotta make sure that you change the resolution to fit the standards for IGTV. And then you can still render the full thing that you do. Just make sure that you stay in the center or you would have to actively do some more motion and cutting to make sure that whatever you render for IGTV, you're in the center of the screen or whatever you want to be focused on. So I hope that helps. This is AJ with AJHolmes.com. Consider subscribing, like the video if this helps you at all, and share. Catch you later on the next video.